Hey everyone, it's Micah. Today I'd like to show you how to create a panorama in Lightroom CC. This is actually a pretty cool feature that they added into Lightroom over the last year or so. A um, couple good little tips when shooting panoramas. Um, one thing I like to do, as you can see down below, I can I like to shoot either portrait or I'll do landscape mode. And before each shot, or multiple shots of doing a panorama, I'll actually shoot one shot towards the ground and then I'll create the panorama overlaying each photograph over the next and I'm just doing these free-handed and then I'll shoot the camera back down to the bottom so that way I always know where to start and finish the panorama and especially in post-production this comes really handy so what I want to do first is I'm gonna go ahead and merge these six photographs right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one, hold my shift key down, click on the last one, then I'm going to right click, and then once you go on the right click, you want to go to Photo Merge, and then you're going to come over here and you're going to see Panorama. So just click on that. Now it's just going to take a second as it uh, creates the Panorama Preview. So depending on your camera or your computer speed, it'll depend on how fast this will come about. I sped up the video a little bit so you wouldn't get too bored. Now right now I do have auto crop. If I uncheck that, you can see the white edges around. So this is basically what it looked like, you know, when I'm free handing this photograph. You do have a choice of clicking through the different options here up here. What I'd like to do is go to auto select projection. So it's actually going to pick the best one. And then I also like to click Auto Crop. So this kind of takes all the hard work out for you and makes it real simple and easy. Now, if, if it looks good to you, next thing you want to do is just come on down here where it says Merge. So I'll, I'll click on that. And depending on your computer speed, it will depend on how fast this goes too. So this should only take a, about a few seconds here. Okay, I went ahead and uh, it just finished creating the panorama, so I want to look for it. It should be in the folders here. And here it is on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And what's cool about this, if you shoot in raw format, this panorama will actually be in raw format too. So you got a lot of post-production um, editing that you could do with it. And it keeps a lot of the information in it. So I'm going to come up here where it says develop. Now I'm going to go and just do some quick editing on this one. So I think I'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit. Bring up the shadows. Kind of lighten up the foreground. I'm going to bring the whites just a little bit. The blacks. Picture's already looking a little bit better. I'm going to bump up the clarity just a hair. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'll just use some vibrance. And we'll see about a little saturation. Actually, I'm going to take saturation down just a hair. And I want to do... See if I can bring the orange color out on the rocks a little bit in this area. And this was actually photographed um, just outside of Vail, Colorado, heading towards Red Cliff, Colorado. And this is a highway that's running over a pretty cool looking bridge. And this road down here actually heads into the town of Red Cliff. Pretty cool area if you ever get a chance to visit. Maybe just add some up a little saturation mix sky a little bit bluer just a hair I think I'm gonna sharpen the picture just a little bit maybe just uh, highlight priority maybe just take that down just a smidge so anyways you can uh, just kind of maybe just add a little dehaze there we go kind of pop the picture just a little bit better so that's how you merge the
the panorama together. And then once you are ready to export it, you can go under File, Export, which is basically the same thing as Save As in Lightroom. And at this point, you can choose a folder that you want to dump this into. So I usually save everything in an external hard drive. And then right here under File Naming, I always like to add a custom name. So I'll just hit Edit. And then right here I can name this uh, Red Cliff Bridge. And then I always like to save my photos in JPEG format because that usually works best for Facebook, Google Plus, and all the other social medias. And then I do have an option of adding a personal watermark. And I'll do a video sometime on how to make a custom watermark for you. Once you're all done and you went through all the settings you'd like to do, I'll go ahead and hit export. And I'll save this file. So it's going to be an awful large file, but I always like to save the original size. And then I'll go ahead and downsize, do a second save as a downsize photo. And a smaller size photo is the one I usually upload to social media and stuff. So anyways, if this uh, helped you out, uh, definitely uh, like my YouTube channel page. I have a lot of great videos coming up. Um, you could probably find that in the description there. And like the video too if this uh, definitely, if you enjoyed this or not. So anyways, we will uh, catch you on the next video. And you have yourself a really good day.